Sup, extremely handsome viewers, and welcome back to a new episode of Second Nights. In the last episode, we got our levitation ability from Mia Bodello, in which it was a very groovy night. In her mind. And in this episode, we're gonna roost a chicken. A chicken! It's a seagull. Anyway, um, this is gonna be a very interesting episode, because we just have so many things to do today. We got a lot of conversations to cover from all the campers. We got a bunch of collectibles to think. We bleh, a lot of collectibles to get. We need the psych cards, the psych cores, the psych cards and their cores. Put them all together and make them so we can, you know, level up. And we gotta do that all in this episode. So I'm gonna name this episode Collectathon. Yes, I am very original. So. I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing. Mm, yeah, a lot. So, um, I'm gonna do it by parts. First, getting all the cards, then getting all the cores, and then maybe getting all the conversations. So, if you, you know, just wanna go directly to that part, I'll just leave a bunch of annotations everywhere right now. And let's begin! Whoa! Uh, Elton. I hope you're not waiting for me. Oh, jeez, sorry. Carry on, sailor. Hey, you guys wanna go do something? Watch TV or something? Wanna help me find Dogen's brains? They're missing. Hey, I uh, beat Bobby in this levitation race. It was pretty cool. I got a oarsman's badge, uh, so I can get us a canoe if you guys wanna go. Canoeing? Have you guys ever jumped down these big hollow stumps they have all around camp? No? Okay, um, 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 I'm gonna go back to Sasha's secret lab now, now, now. If you guys need me, that's where I'll be. That's weird. Those guys just left all their stuff out here. Wonder what happened to them. Ugh! Why, I oughta simmer down there, maybe. You promised Mia you wouldn't burn any more kids. <sighs> Okay. TV! Hacky Sack! Yes, Hacky Sack. Oh no! They're all brainless! Hi, Raz. Vernon! You're okay! Yeah, we're great. Me and my pals Kitty and Frankie are just hanging out telling stories and watching the boob tube. B TV! Vernon, look at them! They're zombies. It did seem kind of weird when they let me get this close to them. And then they didn't mind when I talked all through the show. Kitty even agreed to go on a date with me, more or less. We're gonna play hacky sack. Keep an eye on them, Vernon. I'm gonna go figure out what's causing this. Roger that, Raz. Did you ladies know one of the bloodiest battles of the Civil War was fought on the shore of this very lake? Yup, it's true. It happened back when this place was still an Indian summer camp and burial ground. A group of Union soldiers got separated from their regiment. Night was falling, and they were cold and scared. Of Dracula. Boo! <laughs> um, I'm kidding. They were just terrified of getting shot. Though I'm sure any of them, with any sense, were afraid of Dracula, too. They stumbled across an old building. You could still see it on the far side of the lake. So they decided to spend the night there. Little did they know, it was an abandoned Indian insane asylum built on a caveman burial ground. Yup. Little did they also know that a cursed fish lived in the asylum, and that he was an escaped lunatic, but from a different asylum. So even though he was actually living in an asylum, he was still counted as escaped. And what was his curse, you ask? Where his gills should have been? He had hooks. Yup, and where one of the hooks should have been? He had a lug. Yep, a lug, and instead of being about 14 inches long, he was 10 feet tall. But that wasn't the scariest thing. The scariest thing, 
the absolute scariest thing and the thing that still makes the old timer's blood turn to ice and vice versa is the part I said first about how he had hooks for gills. Oh, brr. Uh, anybody need a hug? Dogen! TV? Yeah, good idea. You rest here while I find your brains. What are you listening to? I can't quite make it out, but something... Something coming out of those speakers reminds me of my nightmare. Coach, you'll never believe the stuff I've been doing. Ah! Listen, Private, I am at a very critical point in my lesson plan. I've almost got it all put together. I can't be taken off mission right now. Understand? Yes, sir. I promise that I'll come for you when I'm ready to really unlock your brain's full potential. Now, for the last time, you are dismissed, Private! The people down there look like ants, don't they? They are ants, Crystal. Cruel, cruel little ants. Oh, Clem, it's not their fault. Still, they're gonna be sorry. Yes, that's true. They will all be sorry. Hey, is that Nils down there with Chloe? Whoa, that's weird. Oh, man. I've got to tell Elka. What's the point? I guess soon there won't be much point to any of this, will there? Not when we finish... The project. Yes. You hear about Elton and Milka? No, what? Totally a couple now. No way. I thought Elton loved Lily. Yeah. Well, and I thought Milka loved Quentin. Well, I guess if people's love was something you could trust, we wouldn't be here now, would we? Good point as always, Clem. Well, are you ready? Just one more minute. Let's just watch the sun until it sets. All right. Let's let people have one last sunset before things change forever. Forever. What are you guys doing up here? Oh, hey, Rick! didn't see you there. We're just looking at the sunset. Shh, just wait until he leaves. It is a nice sunset, isn't it? Yes. yes. It is a nice sunset, isn't it? Yes. yes. What have I done? I'm so happy, Clem. Me too, Crystal. It's going to be great, isn't it? Super great! We're going to be so powerful, aren't we? More powerful than you can imagine. Oh, I can't wait. The sunset's beautiful, isn't it? It will be more beautiful afterwards. When we've done what we're going to do. Yes. When we finish the project. Hey, Mr. Cruller. I'm a trained levitator now. You have to admit, that would come in handy to clean those high up type places. Ah, pfft, I could go up to the store in the main lodge and buy a cobweb duster that would do the same thing. Levitation. <laughs> Let me go. What to do with small bully assistant? Jeez, I don't know. Could you put him in that deadly Nelson you were talking about? Could. On such tiny opponent, all blood might drain out ear holes. Ah! Shut up, Benny! On the other hand, blood from constricted trunk could rush to tongue. And? Tongue swells, pops. Most blood drains back down throat. Interesting. Less mess that way. Mouth stuffed with giant tongue can't scream. So quieter. Shut up, Benny. You have something less drastic? Uh, could use half Deadly Nelson. What's that? Like Deadly Nelson, but less dying. How much less? Maybe uh, half. What happens the other half of the time? Opponent leaves. Spends the rest of short life praying for death. Hey! Can you hear me down there? Maloof? Shut up, Benny. Seriously, Maloof. I apologize. 
I'll call off your goon, and I'll never bother you again. Ever. The thing is, Benny, you're never gonna bother me again either way. So you're gonna have to offer something a lot better than that. Like what? Any ideas, Mikhail? No when you think about giant hairless beer? No. Out of ideas. Preparing Nelson. Well, wait, wait. Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe I did see something like that. Uh, give me a minute to think. You ready to talk, Benny? Hold on. It'll come to me. Hey, you guys aren't going around taking people's brains out, are you? Not yet, but uh, maybe we should do some market research on that and, and see if there's a demand for that service. Hey, you guys aren't going around taking people's brains out, are you? Not yet, but uh, maybe we should do some market research on that and, and see if there's a demand for that service. You're not going to, uh, kill Benny, are you? Difficult to say. You should take advantage of this time to quietly reflect upon your life, Benny. Raz, buddy! You gotta help me! You know, Chloe, for a chick whose face I can't see because she's always wearing a helmet, you're pretty cute. I'm not human, Earth Primate. But you are the girl model of whatever it is you are, right? Affirmative. At this point, that's totally close enough. Man, what smells like butt? Oh, hey, Nils. How about you and your butt and its odor take a hike before I puke? But... It'd be a real shame if you had to leave your butt here because it was anchored to my foot. Now beat it! Hi, Chloe. <laughs> How is it? Uh, in, I mean, <laughs> you know, what's up and stuff? Bobby, we need to work on you a little. Hey, I can levitate. Want to see my merit badge? Uh, that's great. You can just float up on out of this forest then. Because the forest, it's off limits. Now get! Hey, check it out. I'm halfway done with the scavenger hunt. Holy smokes, look at that! Well then, here's the first half of your reward. Now don't be lazy. Finish that list. Get!
se pasó Oh, 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 oh,